Hello and what's up peeps, this is the Geek Goddess back again with another video and on this week's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to paint bushes, leaves and basic foliage in a video game style or for the use of 2D animation backgrounds without using any textured or custom brushes. I'm going to be primarily using the default round brush for this. In case you missed the previous video in the series where I showed how to paint mountains simplified for beginners, go ahead and check it out. Now coming back to the bush, first of all I'm going to create a basic color palette. So I'm going to be choosing a desaturated bluish green or navy blue or an ocean green color for the shadow. Then as you can see me gradually going up the color palette and diagonally moving to the right as I go from desaturated to saturated colors. I'm going to pick a slightly more saturated greenish color for the base tone of the bush or the leaves. Then I'm going to go a bit up for the highlights and even brighter green and then I'm gonna move towards yellow for my final highlights. So yeah, that's our color palette that we're gonna be using for this artwork. Now for the bush, I'm gonna be starting with a basic shape. I'm gonna roughly draw an oval shape that's gonna be the base of the bush. The goal is always to keep it simple. So I'm gonna start with this simple oval shape. And now I'm gonna break the shape by adding some random edges to make it uneven, to make it look like a bush and not an egg. And as you can see, I'm doing all of this with a default round brush. Once I'm happy with the base shape of the bush. Now for the brush setting, as you can notice, I have picked the default hard round brush and I've lowered the hardness to somewhere around 70-80%. And now I'm going to pick the base green color and I'm going to draw some mid-tone highlights on the bush. I'm not going to be paying too much attention to properly rendering it. I'm just filling in some colors very roughly and fast. We're going to move from one color to another. Now I'm just picking the brighter highlights. I'm moving from the outer edges to the center. The edges, the outer edges are the darkest and the absolute center is going to be the brightest. Imagine it as a 3D spherical shape. And now the brightest highlights for the brighter areas receiving most light. Alright, now the fun part. Once that is done, we're going to go a bit crazy over here. We're going to use the smudge tool and I'm going to randomly smudge some of the area to create a nice balance of hard and soft edges. So for the smudge tool, I'm choosing a textured brush. You can even go with a default round brush. That's no problem at all. We're just smudging it to make some of the edges look blurry. What this does is it creates a nice combination or variation of edges, of hard and soft edges. That adds a degree of realism to your art. It's important to not make everything too blurry or too smooth. At the same time, it is also important to not make everything too sharp. Have a nice blend of hard and soft edges. So once I'm happy with how it looks, next comes the most important part that is rendering the leaves. That is the place where a lot of beginner artists struggle. They make it complicated by trying out different uh, textured brushes, leaf brushes, and there are ways of making those look good. I'm going to center this video around the fundamentals of drawing some basic foliage like this. So I'm going to do everything from scratch without using any custom brushes. I have picked the default hard round brush and I've lowered the hardness somewhere around 70 or 80 percent and decreased the size until I'm happy. Then I'm going to turn off the first pressure sensitivity option from the top because I don't want my leaves to suddenly go from solid to transparent. I don't want that. I don't want the transparency of the brush strokes to vary with pressure, but I do want the thickness to vary with pressure. That's why I've kept the second option turned on. Now, just to show you how to render these leaves, what I'm going to basically be doing is, let's say there are two colors, two different colors, and the way I'm going to be blending these two colors together with the help of leaves is that I'm going to pick the color from one area and I'm going to paint some leaves on the other area and similarly I'm going to paint the color from that area and paint some leaves on the first area and we might come up with some mid-tones which is a mixture of these two colors I'm going to pick those and I'm going to draw them on both areas that way there's a nice blend and there's a nice gradient from one color to the other so that's going to be our way of rendering it overall what I'm doing now is showing you how to render the leaves. So pay attention to how I'm doing the strokes. They almost look like bullets. They almost look like uh, sniper bullets. 
make sure to vary the shapes and size all the leaves should not look exactly same some of them will be long some of them will be short some of them will be big some of them will be small so keep a nice variation make sure not to point all the leaves in the same direction make them go crazy make them flow in all different directions because this is natural formation it is random that's what it's supposed to look natural so notice how i'm painting the leaves i'm pressing hard on my tab and when i'm letting it go after the stroke ends um gently letting it go so that the starting point is hard and it's thick and when i'm letting it go it slowly becomes thin due to the pressure sensitivity and that gives an illusion of a leaf-like structure okay now that we have covered the leaf part now we're gonna start adding leaves to this shape i'm gonna pick the base tone and i'm gonna paint leaves in the exact same fashion over the dark areas then I'm gonna pick the brighter colors and paint it on the dark area. I'm gonna go from dark to light. That's mostly gonna be my path. As you can see, I'm constantly picking brighter colors and painting it on the darker areas. And I'm pretty much gonna be doing this exact same thing all around the bush. The whole thing is gonna be following this exact same style. In some of the places, even the darker colors can overlay on the brighter colors. Your goal should always be to try and imagine this as a 3D shape. What if this was a spherical shape, like a ball? How would you color it? How would you render it? How would light react on this? And finally, for the extreme bright highlights, I'm gonna pick a very bright yellow almost, and I'm gonna paint some strokes at the brightest area. Notice how I'm varying the shape and size of the leaves, all with the help of pressure on the tab. Unfortunately, this is very difficult to mimic with the mouse, so yeah, you most definitely will need a pen tab for this. Now, once I'm happy with how the interior of the shape looks, I'm now gonna be adding some leaves along the edges of the bush because of course the edges are not gonna be looking that smooth and cloudy they're also gonna have some leaves a lot of leaf details just like the interior so I'm gonna take a new layer beneath the layer that we were working on for the leaves I'm gonna be picking the color from the shadow area or the dark area I'm gonna be painting leaves in the exact same fashion along the edges and I'm trying to vary the direction of the leaves the shape and size of the leaves to give the natural painterly feeling it's very important that you draw some stray leaves. Some leaves may look like they're not even connected to the bush, they're like floating around or over the edges. Sometimes that may not make sense, but that's really important to give it that painting-like feeling. So always draw some stray leaves, even for the interior. Keep drawing these stray leaves to give it that spontaneous feel. Now, so this is what we have. I'm gonna be picking some of the base green tone and I'm gonna be painting it along the edges, along with the dark shadow color. And finally, I'm going to be painting some even brighter tones in the shadow area to give that feel that the light is not completely concentrated in the center area only. Some of the bright light is also bleeding to some of the leaves that are in the darker area as well. If you think about it in a 3D manner, this is not only just a 3D spherical shape, but it is very complicated with many, many layers in different clusters flowing in all different directions. Now, this is one level and then you can take this whole thing to another level once i'm somewhat happy with this i'm going to merge all the layers into one and i'm going to take a new layer on top of it and clip it on and then set it to overlay mode and with the soft round brush i'm going to pick a bright yellow color lower the opacity and i'm going to paint some light on top some highlight i'm going to decrease the opacity a bit take a new layer on top set it to multiply i'm going to pick the dark color from the shadow area and i'm going to paint some shadow as you can see the difference this makes i can change the colors of the shadow to make it a bit more greenish so that's another way of post processing your bush to manipulate the kind of lighting that you want in it and even color grade it accordingly so that's it for now hope you got to learn something new from the video and if you did make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications of my upcoming videos yeah that's it for now see you on the next one peace